Hi there, welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this week's tutorial, we'll be creating grids in Revit. I'll show you how it works and I'll give you important tips on how to make your life much easier by unlocking awesome features of the grid. Okay, now let's discuss grids in Revit. All right. As you already know, grids are used as guidelines for a building model. All right, they form the baseline for measurements in laying out the building and serves as reference points for discussions during construction. Okay, and um, just like levels, grids are also datums, and creating a structure of grids early in your design can help you keep your design organized. All right, now to place a grid in Revit. On the architecture tab select the grid tool on the draw panel select how you want to place it because grid lines can be drawn in straight lines it can also be drawn in arc segments all right and um the multi segment tool as you can see here it lets you place a grid made up of more than one segment okay such as um, right angled grids or grids with jugs in them so let's go ahead and select the line drawing tool, okay, so that we can place grid by clicking each end of the line segment. All right. Um, when you add grid lines to a project, Revit automatically numbers each line. You can check or uncheck the checkbox at the either end of the grid line to show or hide the grid bubble. Alternatively, what you can do, you can select the grid line, click on the edit type on the properties palette, then make sure the plan view and one is checked too. Okay, that automatically turns on both ends of the existing grid heads in your project and um, that of the grids you will add in future in this project model. You can also duplicate, duplicate this grid by clicking on the duplicate button, as you can see, okay, add a name, define the center segments of the grid line. This allows you to create multiple grid type for different conditions in your model, okay. In this example, some grid lines have the center segment set to none. Okay. All right. Now, to adjust the length of the grid line, use the controls at either end. For readability of grid lines, place close together. Click the small break symbol on one of the grid lines to add an elbow to the grid line just like so. Okay? It is advisable to always change the grid line notation as you place the grid line. And here is why. Let's go ahead and change the first grid line number to a letter. Now you can see all subsequent grid lines use the same naming pattern. All right, for now, that is it for grid line. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe. Not only that, ring the bell so that you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.